Moving on to free response questions for Unit 6, a progress check there. Uh, again, two questions. First question, um, Unit 6 is all about um, proportions. So this is all about tests and intervals for proportions. So Unit 6 is proportions, Unit 7 is means. So all these questions we're going to talk about right now are all about proportions. Uh, the question talks about taking a random sample of 1,000 people from the United States of America and finding out how many of them uh, indicate football is their favorite sport to watch on TV. So from the data, from the question, we find out that our sample size is 1,000. Our P hat, our sample is 37%. What I did right away is I figured out what that number is. So how, do, how would that 37% be calculated? It's 370 out of 1,000. So I have my number of successes. I'm going to need that in a moment because we're going to go to our calculator and we're going to get the answer. Uh, the question asks you to construct a 95% confidence interval for the true proportion. So the moment you see that, we need to remember the acronym PANIC, P-A-N-I-C, and I'll walk you through how we do a confidence interval. So P, we're going to state our parameter uh, in context. So in this case, P is the true proportion of Americans who indicate football is their favorite sport on TV to watch. So there's my parameter P, not P hat. P. Um, true proportion, context. So kind of hit that. That's a thing they'll be looking for. A, our assumptions. The three assumptions we will be always validating are random, independent, and normal. Random. It's stated random in the problem, so I can use that P hat as an unbiased estimator. So that's going to be my, my best guess of center. Independent, 10n. So 10 times 1,000 is 10,000. Again, don't stop here. Say the sentence, safe to assume more than 10,000 Americans. So that allows me to calculate what we would call the standard error. Sigma of p hat equals that, that square root p hat 1 minus p hat over n. Formula on your formula sheet. It's on the back side of the front page. Uh, now we plug in the numbers 0 0.37, 0 0.63, divide by 1,000. We get a standard error of 0 0.0153. Next, normal. The normal check, since it's proportions, is successes and failures. So in this case, we had 370 successes because 370 out of 1,000 is 0.37. The complement of that, 630, that's our number of failures. Our shape is approximately normal. So that allows us to say that the shape is normal, which allows us to get the critical value. Z star is our critical value. It's 95% confidence. So what you do is you go to that table B that we had that is the um, that has all of the critical values in it. We would go to the infinity row. We go to the 95% uh, column, and it's 1.96. It's one of the more frequently used ones. So now what we have is we have our point estimate, we have our standard error, and we have our critical value. I am constructing a 95% confidence interval for true proportion at 95% confidence. This formula is sort of on your formula sheet. I'll do a video where we'll kind of go over where everything is on the formula sheet. But the important part is plugging these numbers in. So 0.37 plus or minus 1.96 over the square root of 0.37 times 0.63 over 1,000. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use the calculator. So I'm going to break up the calculator for you. And hopefully this is going to not get too much of a glare. So it's got a glare, so let's kill the light. Okay, that should be a little bit better. <clears throat> we're going to do stat, and we're going to, when we had the, stat, we go to tests, and what we want to do is we're doing a um, one sample interval, so arrow up, and we're going to do letter A, one proportion Z interval. What we're going to put in here is we're going to put in the numbers. Uh, the first two numbers are integers, so 370 is our successes, 1,000 is our sample size. Both are integers, never decimals in here. And then our confidence level down here, 0.95. So added in those three numbers, we calculate. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us the range, 0.34008 to 0.39992. So we're going to copy those numbers exactly. Don't round, just copy them exactly as they are over there. And what we're going to do is keep the light back on. And we have our answer here, 0.34008 to 0.39992. And then the final piece, and this is the piece that um, will earn you your points, it's kind of your Mad Lib. 
We are 95% confident the interval from 0 0.34008 to 0 0.3992 captures the true proportion of Americans who indicate football is their favorite sport to watch on TV. That is almost always going to be worth a point. So please, please, please get that memory, get that kind of um, that format down. It's 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 really going to serve you well.